my channel then please hit that subscribe button and join the family and if you're already subscribed then welcome back all right you guys so i know in this video i have a different look going on and i really like this so this video is a partnership with curls curls i have worked with them before they specialize in clipping extensions wigs wefts and ponytails i tried their ponytail and i love that like it's literally amazing <laughs> and i also really like their clip-ins i haven't tried any of their wigs but as far as the ponytail and the clip-ins highly recommend excellent quality minimal shedding no issues with their hair so this is like i said by curls curls and these are their ombre clip-ins in the texture natural curly that's typically the texture that i go with and i think it's a pretty good match for my hair and then also it's 16 inches so i have more shrinkage than these clip-ins so that's why it looks a bit more like elongated i think maybe if i went with 14 or possibly even 12 it would look more like my natural hair because i have so much shrinkage but this is 16 inches so a bit more elongated which is cool because you can do different hairstyles so right now i have it up the top part up with this clip but you could do a ponytail like a little pony like that without the clip <laughs> or you could do a, a, like a what is it the claw clip style like this that's cute you know or a low bun just wrap it all around and put it in a low bun so I feel like you have a lot of different styling options with these clip-ins and you can take them out whenever you want which is nice so let me know what you guys think down in the comments what do you think about this color on me i don't know i think i would probably if i were to ever dye my hair which i don't think is gonna happen knowing me i'm just too afraid but what color do you guys think would look good on me this is like an auburn kind of color in my opinion i would probably go for like a honey blonde i think that would look cute but let me know and if you have color treated fine high porosity natural hair please let me know how is the maintenance like caring for your hair is it more than when you had your natural hair color is it about the same like i'm curious because maybe i'm overthinking it and it's not that bad but who knows but if you guys are interested in these clip-ins i will have all the links down below in the description box and also coupon code so definitely check that out and let's just jump into this video the before and the after all right you guys so this is the before which is actually my day four braid out from my curl days video my hair at this point is dry and also have a lot of frizz so we're going to take care of this asap because my high porosity hair is not having it <laughs> so first i'm going to suction off my hair and then spritz it with some water so we can get some hydration and i'm going in with my leave-in conditioner first which is the camille rose coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment this is typically my go-to leave-in in the winter time because it is so emollient and moisturizing but i need moisture so I'm using that today and then to top that off I'm using the Camille Rose coconut water style setter which is a moisturizing cream and then to give myself some hold I'm using the Camille Rose brown butter melt which is a pomade so I've been using pomades this summer I know I haven't done like an official summer braid out or twist out video but that's because I've been trying different combos to see what works best and this is a combo that I'm trying out for the first time and I actually really liked how this twist out turned out after filming this video my twists were pretty much dry that's one thing about using pomades my hair dries quickly and it looks good so i might do a video in the near future on my summer twist out using these products but i'm just pretty much re-moisturizing and sealing my hair at this point because like i said my hair is on day four and it's dry and before we install the clip-ins i definitely want to protect my natural hair and just make it easier for the clip-ins to stand out and actually wear this as a style so i have the 10 piece bundle which is called their thick bundle it completely covers your whole head i probably used six or seven clip-ins this is the first one it's a three weft clip-in and then i'm going to install right above that a four weft clip-in and the process is pretty simple i'm just installing them 
bringing a twist down, installing another one. <laughs> it's very easy. And I'm just using as many clip-ins as I need without overdoing it. I used, I believe, three, four, five, six. I think I used about seven clip-ins. So I'm just installing them all over and then I'm taking out these leave-in pieces and I did do some readjusting off camera because I needed more hair towards the center of my head to cover the clip-in. But this is what it looks like after I have installed all the clip-ins and I just decided to put my hair up in this half up, half down style with this cute clip. And my hair looks so much better than how it did when we started. My hair is protected underneath and this could definitely be a go-to protective style. And also you want to experiment with some color without damaging your hair. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And definitely check out Curls Curls if you're interested in their clip-ins. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.